Today you are going to be painting a pop art flag inspired by the artist Peter Max using tempera paints. Um, and you're going to use what you know about the color wheel um, to add kind of a border and your own spin on the American flag. So please make sure you write your name and class code on the back of your paper. Go ahead and flip it over. You will have a set of tempera paints um, a water cup that you're sharing with someone. And I also want you to get two paint brushes. So I want you to get a purple paint brush and then a smaller skinny round brush that might be black or it could be a different color too. Then on the front of your paper, you're gonna add a border where you're just repeating the lines of your paper, your square paper to make another square very lightly inside because we know that pop art is taking popular things changing them and turning them into art so we're going to add kind of a frame around our flag and we are going to start painting i would start painting that frame i'm not even going to have you draw in your flag you are just going to be painting that because it's not about making it look exactly like the american flag it's just about changing it and maybe making people look at it in a different way that's what pop art is all about so you're going to start filling in the border of your flag, um, touching into these colors. And we're not going to be mixing colors um, in this carton here. You can mix them, however, on your painting. And that's kind of what Peter Max would do. He uses really thick paint. So you're going to choose whatever colors you want. And when you touch into your paint, I only want you to get kind of the, the tip of your paintbrush um, with the paint, not all the way to here, just the end of your paintbrush. Then when you begin painting, you can use long, smooth brush strokes to fill your border with paint. And you can use whatever colors you want. And whenever you hear that your brush is dry and scratchy, go ahead and touch into more paint. Always make sure you're keeping your brush on its tippy toes. You're never squishing your brush or scooting it sideways on its booty. So you're, so you're just filling that border in with paint. If you want to use a different color, you will touch your paintbrush into the bottom of your water cup, slide it up the side, wipe it off on a piece of paper towel. Now I can tell that there's still paint on there, so I'm going to touch it in the bottom of my water cup again. Gently wipe it off. Maybe it takes like three times, and then once it's clean, then I can um, wipe it off and start to use another color. Now, I don't want my border to just be one color. I'm going to mix in some other colors with this. You are welcome to use any colors you want, thinking about what you know about the color wheel when you're doing this. Now that I'm adding this other color on top of my yellow, it's going to start to mix. So I'm going to kind of think about what I know about the color wheel. I know that when I mix blue and yellow together, I'm going to get green. Let's just kind of keep those things in mind when you're adding other colors, okay? And then as soon as you're done adding, and you can, do, you can do lots of different colors on your border, you can do one like I did, it's totally up to you. Then I'm gonna clean off this brush and go to my detail brush, because in your border, this is a fun place to make this pop art. So you can add different designs. Um, I think I'm gonna add in some blue. You can add dots, you can add hearts, you can add stars, different designs that you maybe saw Peter Max doing. So I'm just kind of stamping in some dots around the edge here with my blue. Now notice how I'm not mixing any colors. All of my paint is still clean. It's all the same colors. And I will be watching for you to make sure you're using good craftsmanship when you're doing that. Um, so you're welcome to add any patterns. You could do symbols of our country, whatever you want around your board. Okay, um, and then I would clean off my brush. Now I think I'm ready to do my flag. And when I do my flag, again, it doesn't have to be exactly um, what our American flag looks like. So I'm going to be touching into my blue, and I'm going to do the part, this part of my flag, the blue. Um, corner where the stars would be and that's usually in the upper left hand corner now notice how I didn't draw it in but I'm kind of making a, a square in the upper left hand corner oops and I got a little bit on my painting that's okay so you could wipe that up or I might just leave that there 
Now I'm not going to make this a perfect square. I'm going to kind of have the edges rough and you could do that or you could have a perfect square too. So I have my blue kind of blocked in. Then I'm going to clean that brush off. And this time I'm going to really want to make sure that it's clean so that I can start to add my red. If I have blue on my brush still when I add my red, I'm going to get a purple color. So now I'm going to add some red stripes. Long, smooth brush strokes. If your brush is ever dry and scratchy, just go ahead and touch back into that paint to get some more. Keeping my paint just on the tip of my brush. Long, smooth strokes across. Now, another thing Peter Max did is he would mix in other colors even in his flag. So if I wanted to, I could take my detail brush and kind of throw some little lines of white in my red. Or maybe you could do some orange in your red because orange is the color that's next to red on your color wheel. So I did that. I might even, now my brush has red on it, so I'm going to clean it off. I might even add a little bit of that white in on this blue part. Okay, so you can do that. Um, you can start to add stars or other designs on your stripes. It's totally up to you. Peter Max did a heart on his. I've seen students write things like, uh, I love the USA or thank you veterans, that kind of thing. It's totally up to you. And one way that I kind of like to end is by outlining. So I'm gonna outline my frame with this darker blue. Ooh, I really did track another line across. Gotta be careful. I guess that's gonna be part of my pop art. Be super careful. So I like to kind of outline and then I might even add a couple more designs around the border of my flag with that darker color to bring it all together. I want you to be creative. Think about how you can turn this this flag and that's very popular to our country into something that people can look at and see in a new way. Good luck with your Peter Max pop art flags. Make sure you're using what you know about the color wheel, using these tempera paints correctly, taking care of your brushes to clean them off and not mix any colors in the paints, um, and have some fun. Good luck.